हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू फिजिकल साइंस डिजिटल क्लासेस महबूबा माई सेल्फ नरेंद्र बाबू कोटला पीजीडी केमिस्ट्री टीएसएमएस महबूबा टुडे रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट एट करवुड सरफेसेस क्लास टेन पार्ट वन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट इंट्रोडक्शन कमिंग टू दी फर्स्ट टॉपिक दट इज रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट light is a form of energy which helps to see objects light is a form of energy and which helps to see objects so how do you able to see the objects then we will see how when light coming from an object enters our eyes that we are able to see that objects when light coming from an object enters our eyes that we are able to see that object so light enables us to see objects from which it comes or from which it reflected based on this objects we can classify into two types so those objects are first one is luminous objects and non luminous objects so in that first we will discuss luminous object so objects which can produce light on their own they are called luminous objects that means they can uh, so produce light on their own the objects which can produce light on their own they are generally called as luminous objects so examples of this luminous objects are sun sun generally it produces the light uh, itself okay stars also produces the light uh, itself electric bulb also produces uh, so light itself the uv light is also produces the light torch produces the light candle produces the light fire etc so once again luminous objects in the sense objects which can produce the light on their own they are called luminous objects second one is non luminous objects means objects which do not emit light themselves but only reflect or scatter the light which falls on them are called non luminous objects actually non luminous objects in the sense they do not emit the light themselves so light does not produce from them so only it can reflect or the scatter the light which falls on it so on them are called non luminous objects so for example flower chair table book trees other plants human beings fan bed mirror diamond walls floor and road etc there are so many objects uh, so we can uh, so consider it as non luminous uh, which is also called as illuminated object so for example if you take the so book if you take the book we can able to see the book how we can able to see the book in the sense so when light incidents on the book book that reflects the light and that reflected light that reaches our eyes so that means it is a non luminous object so the light when it falls on the table so table that reflects the light and that reflected light we can able to see so then table is a non luminous object similarly so all of the objects are generally non luminous objects so we can see the non luminous objects because they reflect light into our eyes how we can able to see the non luminous objects in the sense when light incidents on those objects we can able to see those objects why because the light the reflected light that enters into our eyes but how we can see the luminous objects in the sense light itself that produces from it or themselves they produces the light that's why they are called luminous objects non luminous in the sense they do not produce the light only they can so they can reflect or scatter the light they are non luminous objects so then light generally travels in straight line actually the light path is a straight line path so they travels in straight lines so generally light consists of electromagnetic waves what consists of light light that consists of the electromagnetic waves which do not require a material medium so just like a solid liquid or gas for the propagation 
that means light consists of the electromagnetic waves so which do not require a medium or material medium for propagation so light is generally consists of the electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves do not require any medium for their propagation why because electromagnetic waves can be able to propagate even in the vacuum unlike so sound waves or the water waves they do not require any medium so that's why they can be able to so move or they can be able to propagate so in vacuum also that's why light generally that is a so combination that consists of the electromagnetic waves that do not require material medium for propagation so the wavelength of visible light waves is very small actually the wavelength of visible light in the sense this visible light is a small part of the electromagnetic radiation actually this visible light so that is a small part or the small portion of the electromagnetic radiations or electromagnetic spectrum if you see the electromagnetic spectrum or electromagnetic radiation so the wavelength of the visible light is, is very small that is having the 4 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meters to 8 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meters or 380 nanometers to 760 nanometers so visible light in the sense we can able to see the colors we can able to see this light with our naked eye but uh, in electromagnetic waves in electromagnetic radiation so we cannot see all the radiations can we able to, can we see the gamma rays radio rays or tv rays and x rays all they comes under this electromagnetic waves or electromagnetic radiation but in all of these only visible light we can able to see that portion is very small okay the wavelength of visible light waves is very small that is 4 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meters to 8 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meters or 380 nanometers to 760 nanometers the speed of light waves is very high the speed of light waves is very high that is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second in vacuum or we can also write it as 3 into 10 to the power of 10 centimeters per second in vacuum so next reflection of light what is reflection of light so let us see here the process of sending back the light rays which falls on the surface of an object is called reflection of light what it is the process of sending back the light rays which falls on the surface of an object is called reflection of light so let us take uh, one example here if you take this this is a plane mirror so in this plane mirror a is uh, actually incident light ray imagine this so this incident light ray when it incidents on an object or the plane mirror then what happens it is reflecting uh, so like this ob a o is the incident light ray ob is the reflected uh, light ray so consider this is an air medium so light is uh, moving in air medium when light moving through the air medium it falls on an object here it falls on an object so then what happens here when it falls on an object or on the surface of the mirror then it reflects so how it reflects in the sense the incident light rays are incidenting on this and they are bouncing back into the same medium same medium in the sense the light rays are coming from the air at the same time after this bouncing back into the same medium the bouncing back of the so reflected light rays into the same medium is called as reflection so in this light rays are bouncing back into the same medium after the incident of uh, that uh, light rays on a on an object or on any one of the surface so that is called as reflection the process of sending back the light rays they are not penetrating they are just coming out into the same medium they are coming back so that's why that is called as reflection of light so so the object having polished or shining surfaces reflect more light than objects having the unpolished dull surfaces so the objects which are having very shining surfaces are the very polished surfaces so the light that reflects more than the objects which are having the unpolished 
or dull surfaces so silver metal is one of the best reflectors of light so who can reflects the light more in the sense silver metal silver metal is one of the best reflector of the light and coming to the ordinary mirrors are made by depositing a thin layer of silver metal on the back side of the glass sheet so ordinary mirrors are made by depositing a thin layer of silver metal on the back side of the glass sheet the silver layer is then protected by a coat of red paint the silver layer is protected by a coat of the red paint a ray of light is the straight line along which light travels a ray of light is the straight line so along which a light travels that is the ray of light so a bundle of light rays is called a beam of light a bunch of light rays more number of the light rays if they are moving then it is called as beam of light thank you thank you for watching this video